read reading strategies passage. Okay, um, so that's where we do our strategies, R E A D, right? And we've been working on kind of me not doing so much with you and more of you trying to do it yourself and get that practice in. So I will do R and E with you, kind of like what I did last week, and then you will read the passage on your own and then you will answer the questions on your own. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do here is I'm going to insert a text box right over here off to the side like we've done before. And I'm going to make sure that I make this a lot bigger so that I can see my R-E-A-D. And let's change the color to orange. I'll do orange. So R-E-A and then D. Okay, so I have <clears throat> my R-E-A-D off to the side. Right now, if you don't remember what R stands for, there's a helpful little picture right here. So R stands for read and circle all titles, pictures, and underlined words, and then you make a prediction. Okay, so um, so far, what I have said every single week when we do this is the same thing. When you're doing your read strategies, you need to be really thinking about the things that you circle or the things that you notice. Don't just go through the motions because that's not going to help you. All right. So in order to get better at this and to be able to really understand what we're doing for the read strategies and why we do it, you have to focus on it and you have to really take your time to think about it. All right. So we have a title here and our title is called Real Uniforms, Real Ballparks. OK, so I should be thinking about this title. What does it mean? What is it trying to tell me? OK, I know what a uniform is. A uniform is like um, a uniform, like a job. Police officers have a uniform. Um, teachers somewhat have a uniform. Like on Mondays and Fridays, we're able to wear jeans with a T-shirt. And then um, Thursday, or not Thursday, sorry, Tuesday through Thursday, we have to kind of dress more professionally. So it's not exactly a true uniform, but you could call it a uniform. Um, ballpark. Well, ballparks, that kind of reminds me of like a baseball park. And then it's also helpful that I see a photograph right underneath our title here. So I'm going to put a circle around that as well, right? Because more than likely, this real uniforms, real ballparks is probably going to be talking about baseball because that's what this picture is here. It's showing a catcher and then a little boy who is trying to hit that ball. All right, so let's keep looking here. I don't see, let me zoom in just a tad. Oh, it up. Okay, so let's see. I don't see any underlined words here on this first page. That's what I'm looking for. Usually if there's an underlined word, more than like, excuse me, more than likely, there is going to be a question over that underlined word, but I don't see any. Let's go to the next page. All right. I still don't see any, but I do see this little chart here, and it says Little League World Series Championships. So let me put a title around that, because, or a, type, a circle, excuse me, not a title, because that's the title of this little chart here. Whoops. <clears throat> All right, so Little League World Series Championships. Okay, so then this chart must be showing us information about uh, that championship that it's talking about. So let me fix this circle here and let me make it a little bit bigger so I can see my other parts. Okay, so I know they kind of hide the title a little bit or get interconnected there, but that's okay. So we have the country here on the left side. So we have China, Curacao, Japan, Mexico, South Korea, United States, and then Venezuela. And then we have the number of championships. So China had 17. Curacao has one, Japan has seven, Mexico three, South Korea two, United States 32, and then Venezuela two. Okay, hmm. all right. And then that's all I see for that page, so let's go to the next one. Oh, the next one is our questions. All right, so actually, we're gonna go back to the very first page here, and we just did, oh, actually, we have to make a prediction. Can't forget that. Okay, so I'm gonna insert another little text box right here. I'm just gonna make a prediction. I, whoops, I predict 
that this is going to be an informational passage about Little League Baseball. Okay, so um, now your prediction might be different. Whatever you want to write in there, you can write it. If you want to um, get rid of my prediction there in that text box, you can. But like I said, I'm doing R and E with you, so let me put a line through R because we just did R. All right. Now let's take a look at E. We're going to examine the questions, and this is where we're going to try to label those questions and try to connect them to a reading skill. Okay. So number one, after the United States, which country has won the most Little League World Championships? Hmm. Okay, so after the United States, which country has won the most Little League World Championships? Well, if I remember from what we circled, there was a chart that told us countries, and then it also told us the number of championships won. So this is a detailed question because I have to go back to the passage and I need to find that detail. So it's a detailed question where we have to use the text features, okay? We have to use the text feature. What are we going to use in this case? If you said the chart, you're correct, okay? Yes, you should use that chart to help you find the answer to that question, okay? Let's go to number two. What is this article mainly about? Oh, so right here, I'm going to put a circle. This is a keyword mainly, right? What is it mainly about? That stands for what? You should be thinking about it. What does it stand for? Try to think of that keyword. What is this article mainly about? So the entire article. Good. If you said main idea, you are correct. So let's put that in there. All right, main idea. What is this article mainly about? Okay, and it kind of gives you that hint in that keyword. Mainly has the word main. Okay, so let's go to question three. How does the photograph add to readers' understanding of the article? Well, let's see. What do we think about this one? What kind of, what could we label this as? What does it have to do with? It's talking about the photograph that was on the first page of the passage. What is that? Think about that photograph. What, what do we call that? What is that a part of? Good. If you called it a text feature, you are correct. So that is a text feature. And now when we talked about text features, we talked about how authors put them in informational writing. And they do that for a reason, okay, for certain reasons. So it is a text feature. But we have to kind of also make an inference as to why the author put that photograph in there, okay? It doesn't tell us anywhere in the passage, the author put this photograph because... No, it doesn't do that. We have to make an inference. So we need to use that text feature, and we need to make an inference based off of what we read, what you read in the passage. Okay. So that was question three. Let's go to the next ones. Question four. The author probably wrote this article too. Oh. Okay. So we have not exactly the keywords, but we have author. And then we have wrote, okay? So usually people have reasons for writing, okay? We have author and we have wrote. What kind of reading skill do you think this question is focusing on? Come on, think about it. What do you think? It has author and then wrote. What does that kind of remind you of? What do we think we're gonna label this as? If you said author's purpose, you are correct, okay? So author's purpose, and I remember, we said every time you hear author's purpose, you need to think of pi, oops, pi, right? So the pi stands for persuade, inform, and entertain. So the author probably wrote this article too, and then we'd have to decide which one of those entry choices makes the most sense, okay? So let's keep going. Question five. 
the author organizes. Ooh, this is a good one. This is what we've been doing for like five weeks for reading. Each week we focus on a different one. What have we been doing for reading? We've been talking about these things. The author organizes this article by, and I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to read the first word of each of these entries. It's comparing, showing, explaining, describing. Hmm. What do we think? What kind of reading skill? This is something we've been doing. Each week we learn a new one. Try your best. Think hard. All right. If you said text organization, you are correct. We've been talking about text organization, the different ways that authors organize the text. Compare and contrast, cause and effect, description, right? Problem and solution. We've talked about four of them, right? So this week we'll be learning and talking about the last one. All right, so text organization. We have to think, how did the author organize this passage? Did he organize it by comparing, by showing, explaining, or describing? Okay, so that's something you're really going to have to think about. Okay, use your notes. If you have your notebook and it has the different text features and their descriptions and some keywords, please use it. Look for those keywords that we've written down or that you should have written down because that could help you. All right. Let's go to the next question. Question six. The reader can conclude that Little League Baseball. All right, so we have a keyword here. Can conclude. Can conclude. This is a keyword for what? Think about it. All right, can conclude. That's a keyword for inferencing. So this is going to be an inferencing question. What can we conclude after we read? this story or after you read this story, there is a conclusion you should be able to make. One of these answer choices should make sense for what you can conclude about Little League Baseball. So this is for inferencing. Inferencing. All right? Okay. Inferencing is where we use the clues from the text. We use the clue. It's where we use the clues from the text to make a conclusion, to make an inference. All right, good. So let's go on. Okay, got two more questions here. So which two countries have won the Little League World Series the same number of times? Oh, this one is just like the one we said earlier, where we need to use the text feature. All right, the text feature, and we're going to use, we're kind of going to, it's a detail, right? It's a detail question because we need to use that text feature, that chart, remember? So which two countries have won the Little League World Series the same number of times? Okay, and question eight. Why did Carl Stott start Little League Baseball? Oh, this is definitely a detailed question. They're asking why, why did he start it? So somewhere in the story, it should tell us that detail. Why did he start it, Little League Baseball? All right, so that is the last question. All right, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna cross off E. We just did E together. Now, you, it is up to you to do A and D, all right? So please look for your proof, all right? Try to find the proof, the details in the passage. 